So hello there YouTube, welcome in my next video and today I wanted to talk about those two amazing helmets which you can see on the screen and the reason why I thought it's a good idea to talk about those two is because so far I haven't seen even one video on YouTube comparing those two amazing helmets directly next to each other. And so in essence what these guys represent is niche of helmets that basically look like a pilot's helmets. Another competitor of those two could be for example a direct competitor from Shark Stable, um, Shark Raw. That helmet came out a few years ago and is very very successful. Uh, the difference between the Vancor and the Raw is the fact that in Raw the chin piece can be removed. So really this would be a competitor of OSBE helmet. Another very successful helmet that strongly resembles those two is Roof Boxer V8. I have put a review on that uh, helmet a few years ago, you can find this on my YouTube channel. Roof Boxer V8, uh, to be honest with you, is a slightly different category of helmets because the chin piece swivels around and this is the highest quality of pilot's helmets you can get on the market right now. Prices for those go over £300. This is why we're not talking about this helmet today because this will be a, a totally different shelf of quality when we're talking about this kind of helmets. So let's just stick to these guys here. And so starting from the helmet on the left, the Shark Vancor, what you can see straight away is basically its striking and amazing design. Both helmets are quite similar, obviously because of the color and the size and the way they were designed. They were basically designed to look like pilot's helmets and I've got to say whoever designed them did a great job on that one. However, this is where the similarities end because the Shark Vancor in essence is still a full face helmet. The only thing that is removable from this helmet is that goggle. Whereas uh, OSBE, the one on the right, is actually a helmet where this bottom part, the chin piece, made of rubber by the way, quite soft, is fully removable. And the way you remove it is, is you simply unclip this here and it should get off. This is how you do it. Another difference uh, between those two helmets is obviously the price. And I've got to say, the one on the left, the Shark, is much more expensive. Those retail for about 220 quid brand new. The one on the right, uh, OSB, go for about 160, 170 quid brand new, including the removable uh, rubber chin piece. So we're talking about 50, 60 quid difference, and I've got to say, it is justified by the build quality. In my opinion, after spending a few hours and a few miles riding my motorcycle having both helmets alternately uh, on my head. I've got to say that the build quality is definitely better in Shark. Well firstly just to touch on the helmet uh, we'll let you know that it's, it's kind of sturdier, kind of more robust. Both helmets are rather light, no surprise here uh, considering they both are made of plastic. I do have to say however that in terms of a noise cancelling once again Shark seems to be a better product. Uh, perhaps this is something to do with the fact that this is size um, M which is medium and it really pushes on my ears so there is not a lot of noise that can actually get to my ears whereas an OSB is size L, slightly bigger um, helmet and also I bought it as a used product so it was, it was a bit loose inside already and it seems to me that there is much more space Space, well, there's not a lot of space anyway, but there is more space in between the padding of the helmet in OSBE and my ears. And this is why I presume the noise is um, on much higher volume in OSBE product. The last aspect of functionality and practicality uh, which I need to bring up about those two helmets is the fact that although both of them are really not performing as well as full face helmets in terms of noise cancellation and uh, wind, can wind cancellation or wind deflection if you prefer uh, because those essentially are helmets that were meant to look cool not perform really really well. Going further, if you're one of those people who really want to look cool on the motorcycle but also thought about a uh, moto vlog, uh, obviously you've got to have some sort of decent uh, place on your helmet to put a camera on. And once again in this category OSB is a loser. Because of the way it's built there isn't, a, there isn't a lot of space on this helmet where you could put the camera on. The only one I'm thinking of is maybe at the top, but then obviously you'll, you'll be looking like an idiot. Um, those bulges over here, those screws over here, that all puts a lot of limitations on uh, where you could put the camera in. Uh, Shark Vancor, however, although you've got this strap over here, you can put the camera out here on the side. This is pr 
pretty flat surface here. If you really push yourself, you can also put the camera just in front of the helmet, just over here, and this is gonna stick pretty well as well. Having those two stood next to each other and voicing my personal opinion, I believe that Always B looks definitely better. This helmet is badass. The way they designed it, it really resembles a pilot's helmet. Shark Vancor, there's nothing wrong with it, and a lot of people would disagree with me saying that the shark looks better, but everybody's got a different taste, and in my opinion, if it's only about the looks, I choose OSBE. I still wouldn't pay 170 quid for that one because the helmet isn't very practical, but if there is a way of getting a very well maintained uh, pre-owned OSB helmet for a decent money, I would definitely invest. This is a fantastic helmet for bike shows and that kind of events. If you're looking for something that's going to perform well during everyday riding, commuting to work and provide some sort of safety, well obviously Shark Vancor should be your choice. I really have to say that the OSB helmet, although it loses in many departments compared to Shark Bancor, is still a very decent helmet. Uh, and the reason for that is it's simply a lot cheaper, and second of all, it's got certain functions that Shark hasn't got. So for example, you've got this knob over here, which can be used for operating the second visor. So you've got the clear visor, and you've also got the second visor, which serves another purpose of blocking the sun rays, irritating your eyes. That feature, unfortunately, is unavailable in Shark Vancor helmet. Thank you very much for your time, fellas, and I'll see you in my next video.